We're back at our Yonkers, New York Blitz build, and work is moving along very quickly. The Blitz build also means that while the carpenters are at work on the second floor deck, the plumbers are at work in the basement. Let's check in on the installation of the boiler. All right, well, down in the basement, we want to check in with John Fushillo, our plumbing contractor. And John, let me interrupt you. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. This is something I wanted to look at closely because this is a pretty unusual feature that we're putting in the house. And it's, it's simple, but it is new technology. What do you call it? It's a wastewater heat recovery unit. It's, it uh, utilizes the wastewater from, say, the showers or the kitchen sink, the dishwasher. All the water that's in, uh, going down the drain, it clings to the wall of the, uh, the drain pipe, transferring the wasted heat that would actually go out to the city sewer. It's so simple, it's hard to, to, to fathom somehow. But every time you take a shower, you're enjoying all that nice hot water. And of course, it's all going down the drain. It's still hot, exactly. but it's now wastewater. And we're, we're trying to recover some of that. Exactly. So instead of letting it go directly into the sewer, you, you've got well, behind this coil is, is copper pipe, right? Yes, it is. The interior, this piece here, is a copper uh, extending throughout the whole coil. Yeah. The exterior is the water supply piping that would be coming into the residence. So coming... all of the of the wastewater from the whole house is coming out through here. Yes, it is. And then under the slab going into the to the sewer. Out to the street, yes. Mm -hmm. And, and... Uh, it should recover, I would say, uh, basically 10 to 15 degrees, mm -hmm. and instead of throwing that out, we take it back. So that instead of feeding the water heater, which is right down here behind you, uh, the cold water that comes in from the street. It comes in about 40 degrees. It should bring it up to, uh, I would say, 50, 55 degrees. Yeah. Which instead of uh, using the extra energy to heat that, we would be using the wastewater to preheat it. Right. I hear the technology was actually, or is being developed or was invented by uh, a gentleman who was a scientist, but his wife runs a, a beauty parlor out in Long Island. Yes, and of is. course, they do a lot of shampooing and stuff, so they were wasting a lot of hot water. And this is one way that they've figured out how to recover some of that heat. Exactly. Any idea about the cost of it? It costs about $175. Yeah. Um, and the efficiency, the, what it recovers from the wastewater, it should pay for itself in no time. Right. And then, of course, what we're doing is adding that 10 degrees to the water and feeding it into our horizontal water heater from Budera exactly, down there. Budera's. Right. It's a nice system. Okay. Well, John, I'll, I'll let you get back to work. Great. We're going to go upstairs much. and Thank check you. in on the second. In the corner of the garage is another use of suspended particle device technology by Research Frontiers. This is not a place you'd normally see a window, but we use it here to highlight an innovation you wouldn't normally get to see. This is the GFX Drain Water Heat Recovery System, a completely passive system that captures the heat from hot water as it goes down your drain and uses it to raise the temperature of new water coming into your shower or sink. It can triple your hot water heating capacity and help reduce your hot water bill by up to 50%. Having no moving parts or heating elements, so there's nothing to wear out. It operates on the principle of gravity film exchange, where hot wastewater falling down a vertical section of drain pipe clings to the inner surface in a very thin film, taking the path of least resistance. The heat from this film is efficiently transferred to incoming cold water, circulating around the GFX through an independent circuit outside of the drain pipe. The incoming cold water, running in counter flow to the wastewater, is preheated before it enters the water heater, thereby reducing the amount of energy needed to meet the desired temperature. It has no internal wells either, so you need not worry about contamination and its self-cleaning design assures maintenance-free operation. The GFX can be installed quickly by a professional plumber or by a do-it-yourselfer in just a few hours. The first step is to determine the correct GFX model for your installation. Locate the vertical section of drain pipe 
usually near where it exits the house. Most homes have one main pipe. However, depending on the building size and the location of bathrooms and appliances, more than one vertical pipe may be installed. Measure the diameter of the pipe or pipes and the length of the vertical section. This is necessary to specify the correct model for your installation. Standard diameters vary between 4 inches and lengths at 30 and 60 inches. Begin the installation, turn off the main water supply. Remind all occupants within the building to not flush toilets or drain water from tubs or sinks until the installation is complete. It's a good idea to flush all toilets once the water is off to avoid an accidental flushing. Measure and cut a section of the vertical drain pipe that is the same measurement as the GFX model you are installing. Allow an additional half inch for fitting. Install two three inch no hub connectors to the drain pipe, top and bottom. Insert the GFX into the connectors and tighten the four screw latch straps that hold it in place. Next, you will have to locate the water line and cut it before it enters the water heater. It will be necessary to drain all water before final assembly can be made. Connect the bottom GFX tubing end to the inlet water flowing from the shutoff valve, routing as necessary. Connect the top GFX tubing end to the main water pipe that supplies the house, using care that they are in the proper order. Finally, turn on the main water valve and check the system for leaks. Now you're ready to enjoy an endless hot shower with little fear of running out of hot water. The beauty of the GFX is that the more hot water you use, the greater its efficiency. It's designed to be most effective when hot water demand is continuous. In this way, cold water entering your heater is preheated, thereby requiring less energy to be brought up to the proper temperature requirements. The GFX is a quality product that really works. It's been independently tested by utilities like Virginia Power and Pennsylvania Power and Light. They concluded that the GFX drain water recycling unit is an extremely effective heat exchanger. Its measured effectiveness, recycling efficiency, was very close.